Hello everybody, my name is Taro and the cameraman here is my brother Terrence. We're participating in a challenge hosted by Anok and this is our TNT oil rig. We're students from James Wellington International School Year 9 and we're from China. We participated in this challenge because we find it really interesting and because uh, my dad works in a sur oil surface company and we want to know more about what he does and how oil is actually extracted. Furthermore, thanks to Adnog for hosting this event so more young people could know this field of work. And now we're going to get to our oil rig, the three main components, and we're going to explain it in more detail in the chronological order of Derek, Living Quarter, and the crane. So now, let's go! So now let's get to the Derek, and I'll let my brother explain in more detail. Now, this is the crown block, and it's connected to the drill line connecting it to the traveling block, which moves the drill up and down. And down here, we have the top drive, which helps the rotation of the whole drill. And it's connected to the gooseneck, which provides the feel for it to help to rotate. And down we go, we have the Kelly drive, which is also helps the rotation and also the rotary table. And now this is the monkey board, as we talked about. It's connected to the dorm which is a special feature for the workers. And now we have the drill pipe and the blowout preventer, which prevents fluids and gas from escaping. And now we have the bell nipple and the flow line, which connects the shell shaker and stops solid from going to mud tank. And here's the stand pipe and the Kelly hoose and the suction line, which pumps the fluids up the gooseneck into the top drive for fuel. And here are the wires for power connecting it into the control room where the motor is located, right in there. And here's the draw work also, which uh, powers the up and down motion of the drill. And it's also leading to the uh, motor as well. Now, as we come into the control room, and here's the motor room as well, we have a lot of uh, levers to control. Now, as we move down to the underwater part of the whole drill, which is the drill string under here, and it's connected to the drill bit, which drills underground to find the oil, as you can see here. And now as we go up, I forgot to mention that we also have the stand of pipes, drill pipes on the setback over here. As you can see, we have four stand of them. So this is pretty much it about the whole derrick as you guys can see over here this is the docking area and this is where the boats are gonna be um, placed so people can come to the our oil rig and uh, the way up here is the oil rig itself and um, we're on our way to the living quarter over here as we go through here you can see we enter the mess this is where the laborers and employees will sit down and they can enjoy their food. Also, we have two bathrooms on the side, one for male, one for female, obviously. And we have some carpets on the table, really nice. We have some extra seating space just for all the laborers to sit down. And then we have a cafeteria over here. This is where the food will be prepared and given out. Some furnace and chairs to cook and store food. Now here, we're on the safety exit on this oil rig. So as we go through here, we have trap doors under us, which leads to an escape pod. And now let's take a look of the escape pod from outside. We have two. They are uh, built over here under the oil rig. And let's go down right now. As you can see, there's a ladder down and there's some seating spaces for people to sit while they escape. Also, there's a chest over here where foods and all the essential resource will be stored so people can survive. As we go into the living quarter again, now we need to go explore upstairs onto the second floor, which is the office area. Oh, as you can see, there is manager office, some one seating area with some books and now we have one boss office on this living quarter. So um, it's bigger, it has more sitting area. 
It's generally better than the manager office. And now we have a library where people can read and join themselves. A pool, so this is part of the recreational area, where employees can also enjoy themselves if they want to. Also, we have bathrooms on every single floor, so employees don't need to go up and down. This is the game room with the PS4 and some chest, which can be stored, uh, which can store the refreshments. Now we're moving up to the third floor, and this is the dorm area. We have bathroom over here. This is the labor's room. It's a four bedroom. As you can see, it's plain and empty, quite nicely done. Now we have like the bathroom. There's toilets inside. And now we have a boss room over here. It's a one bedroom with some bookshelves and seating places. Now we move to the manager's room. There's also some bookshelves and seating places. It's a two bedroom. So yeah. And um, now we have extra washroom. So the laundry will be here. And also there will be like um, some shower place for the laborers and employees. So this is where they shower and wash their clothes is. When we move up to the fourth floor, it's, an, it's the dorm floor too. And this is some place they shower as well. We have another manager room here. And on the left side, all the labor room are the same. Well, now we can move up to the roof. So as we go through here, we can see a helipad. There's some redstone torches on it so the pilots can see where to land even at night. There's some also redstone on here to mark where our oil rig is. And over here it says ad knock because this challenge is organized by them. As we go through here, downstairs you guys can see on the fourth and third floor, we have a special feature. So it's like a large balcony outside which leads to the monkey board. So this is for the laborers and employees to get to the derrick um, faster and more efficiently. Now we'll come and explain the crane itself. So as you can see over here, it's made of concrete and some iron base, which makes it steady and strong. So let's get in here. Okay, and now we'll go up from this ladder and we come up to this area which um, we're gonna walk up to the control room right now. Okay, so now we can get into the control room. And as you can see, there's a control room, there's some levers and seating area for the control of the cocrine and torches for um, lightings. And now you can see the crane itself made out of concrete. And um, there's a very long chain down here with a hook. So it's used for heavy lifting of on the rig. And um, over here, we have a identical crane. So this is exactly the same for any heavy lifting on the other side of the rig that can be done. Here's what the whole oil rig looks like from far. As you can see, we really took a lot of time and research into this whole project and we try to make it as real and visually pleasing as possible. We took a lot of time and effort in this project. As you can see, we even try to make the smokes with cobwebs. And this project is really thought out. And we also used a, a variety of materials from iron, concrete, stone, quartz, and a variety of rocks to construct this whole building. So we really thought about this really well and completed all the components in the list. So here's our project. Thank you.